Hello to all inside it friends! Today we will prepare the cutlets and fettine panate. We will see the differences between the two types and the mistakes not to make. Let's see the ingredients. Slices of veal, suitable for fettine panate. Some slices of chicken breast, one of which straight out of the fridge. Three eggs, all-purpose flour, breadcrumbs, salt for the cutlets, we will also use a little pepper. Let's start with the fettine panate. Beat the eggs that we will use in both recipes. Put a little salt on the meat and dip the slices in the egg. Wet the entire surface. Drain the excess egg and coat the slices in breadcrumbs. Try to distribute the breadcrumbs well over the entire surface. For the cutlets, add a little salt and pepper. We will make an English breading. First come the flour, then the egg and finally the breadcrumbs. Eliminate the excess flour. Dip the meat in the egg, drain the excess egg and let's move on to the breadcrumbs. Here on the left you can see the cutlets, on the right the fettine panate. In the top left there is the cutlet just out of the fridge. For frying, bring the seed oil to 165-170 degrees. First fry the fettine panate. Put a maximum of two at a time, so as not to lower the temperature of the oil too much. They will be ready in about 90 seconds. Turn them from time to time until the breading is crunchy and the meat inside is cooked. Dry them with some paper towels. Let's move on to the cutlets. I'm frying the two cutlets prepared with meat at room temperature. It will take about 3 minutes. Now I also put in the oil the cutlet just out of the fridge. Can you see the foam? They are all liquids contained within the meat coming out. And believe me, this is not a good sign. In fact, the other cutlets are much drier. I'm going to drain the cutlets at room temperature first. At the right time I also drain the cutlet just out of the fridge. On the left here you can see the fettine panate, on the right the cutlets. Let's cut the fettine panate first. The breading is crunchy and the meat is well cooked. Let's now take a look at the cutlet that was straight out of the fridge. As you can see there are some problems. The breathing swelled. Guess why? It is full of liquid. Can you see? There is water on the cutting board and the breading is completely detached from the meat. A serious mistake. Clean the cutting board and let's see what happened to the cutlets that were done with the meat at room temperature. The breeding now is crunchy, but not swollen. And when I cut it, it is still well attached to the meat. My advice therefore is, when making cutlets and fettine panate, always use meat at room temperature. Buon appetito!